Oh, good. You're awake. I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother. That she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dandrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you Rab fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil.
I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the darkspawn. Sir Hendrik? Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer! Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go! You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Impressive, Princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please. I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the Darkspawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you! Yeah. Princess. I'm sorry. Get on. Now hold on tight. Princess, what have you become? One piece, too. Just about. No thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... I doubt he'd have told us much. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. Be the first time a once glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named Mordegan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Which is why you're gonna have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. You're the luminary after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arboria tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica, that must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. 
You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the World Tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. Well, can you see anything? Don't tell me it's a dud! If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him! He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. Now, now, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother, I promise. It's... Darlings, did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs. <gasps> oh! I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Maybe trekking halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs, orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. I can't remember the details, though. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. Hmm. Hmm? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil.
nice.